Hello everyone, and welcome to my to my comparison review of the Transformers, I believe it's Age of Extinction, One Step Changers, Galvatron, and Stinger. So let's get right into it. Uh, first we're gonna start off uh, with Stinger, and um, he actually, his sculpt is actually very detailed for one of these figures. As you can see, it's actually really detailed. I don't like this part between his legs and his feet. But yeah. Uh, so, let's actually start off with the articulation. Uh, arms can move forwards and backwards. And feet can do that. Due to transformation. And that's it. Um, for comparison, we have the uh, War for Cybertron Earthrise... Uh, I think it's Earthrise, I don't know. It might be, uh, Kingdom. But the, uh, what's it called? But the, uh, Seeker Conehead Mold. And Sandstorm. Uh, you can see how that stacks up. Uh, and let's get down to transformation, shall we? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab, uh, right at the front of the car, hood and the back. And just push down. And, uh, here's what he looks like in his vehicle mode. You have the Decepticon logo. Oh. Um, so that's what the mold looks like. He rolls fairly well. Uh, and for, com for vehicle mode comparison, here he is with... Uh, Earthrise slash Kingdom RC. You can see how these stack up. Okay. And that's it for, uh, and for the transformation back to robot mode for Stinger. Uh, you're just gonna push down on this button. And... That's him back in his robot mode. So, let's move on to Galvatron now, shall we? So, for Galvatron, here's what he looks like. Uh, for, uh, the mold, actually, uh, the sculpting on the mold does look really good. So, uh, that's what he looks like. Let me see if... Here, let me zoom in on the head. So, yeah. That's the head sculpt. For articulation on this figure, you have the arms, and that's it. You just have the arms, you can move forwards and backwards. Um, for, uh, comparison for the height, uh, here is the cone, here is Sandstorm. Let me zoom back out for this. So, that's the size difference, it's pretty large. And, uh, for his transformation now, uh, you're gonna push down on this back panel, and you're just gonna rotate until he's in his truck mode. Which again, the detail on this is, we zoom in again, it's very nice. Now the nice Decepticon logo right there. And yeah, he rolls fairly well. And for comparison, here he is with Stinger. There's a comparison for the two. And here he is with RC. Oh yeah. Now for my thoughts on the figures. Um, they're pretty much the same. If you want an easier transformation that won't transform itself back, go for Galvatron. Uh, if you just need it to go for the collection and uh, you just don't want it to have a monstrous backpack, go for Stinger because that's the backpack on Stinger and on Galvatron. It's that. So if we just transform them back. So uh, it's really just up to you. They're both about the same. 
um they came out at the same time and anyways that's it for that uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new uh and share the video with anyone who would enjoy and leave a comment down below uh, about your opinion on my reviews and uh so far and how i can improve and uh, about the figures and i want your opinions about the figures is what i mean by that uh so i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you all next time bye